Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Police are investigating an attempted catalytic converter theft in the parking lot of a Walmart at Delta Shores. The attempt was caught on camera. The woman scared off by a bystander. While she didn't get the converter, the car was damaged. A 24-day march by farm workers will reach its destination tomorrow when marchers arrive at the state capitol. They arrived in Sacramento today, welcomed by Sacramento Mayor Pro Tem Eric Guerra. Their goal convinced the governor to sign Assembly Bill 2183, expanding voting options for farm workers in union elections. Former San Francisco Public Works Director Mohammed Nuru sentenced to seven years in prison. Federal prosecutors say Nuru accepted more than a million dollars in money and gifts to steer public works projects. Billboards are now up in LA and San Francisco, warning people not to move to Texas, invoking the Uvalde school shooting that killed 19 children and two teachers. It's unclear right now who is responsible for the billboards. Dylan Schneider of Auburn facing arson charges in connection to the Berry Fire this week. That fire broke out south of the Yuba Pass near Berry Creek but was quickly contained. Two people in Florida have pleaded guilty in a scheme to steal a diary and other items from President Joe Biden's daughter Ashley in order to sell them to the conservative group Project Veritas. Pakistan's climate change minister is calling recent historic rains a climate-induced humanitarian disaster of epic proportions. The rains have triggered massive floods, killing more than 900 people and affected 30 million people. I-10 near Blythe washed out for a few hours today after flooding caused by heavy rain. Westbound lanes heading toward LA were reopened, but the eastbound lanes heading toward Arizona are closed until further notice. Officials are trying to figure out why a block of homes in southeast Baltimore just received their mail-in ballots for the 2020 election. No, it wouldn't have swung the election. There were a total of 26 unmailed ballots. The Postal Service has apologized. Take a look at this in Alameda County. Firefighters had to rescue a dog from under a concrete slab. He got trapped while chasing a possum. He's fine. So is the possum, which escaped on its own. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.